What's your name? Uh, Juan Hinojosa, I'm the Executive Director of Operations. Okay, very good. What does that look like in your day-to-day? -day? What do you do? Uh, right now we're having to try to really kind of juggle between the construction and the renovation projects that we have going on right now and then uh, trying to work towards uh, trying to get information out on the bond and then the daily operations of all the campuses. So it's a busy day. When you think about the different things in the bond that are going to directly impact you and your job, how do you feel about them? Are you intimidated by the projects at hand? Are you excited about them? Uh, I'm, I'm excited about it just because yeah, I've been in the district almost 10 years and, and I see the vision that our superintendent and school board have for our kids of just wanting to provide opportunities for our students. So it's exciting just to see that our, our kids in the district are going to be able to have the same opportunities as, as everybody else. Of all the projects in the bond, what's one you're most excited about? Honestly, I'm excited about all of them, uh, just because they're all they're all good things for our students. But if, if we get the bond to pass, we get the, the career and technical education building, that'll be one of our first uh, initiatives. Uh, it'll provide those certifications for, for our students to give them those opportunities. So I'm, I'm really excited about having them be able to have that in their toolbox whenever uh, they're able to get out and graduate from our school district. When you look around at some of the things that have already been accomplished under your tenure, do you feel a sense of pride knowing that you oversaw that to its completion and these things have been getting done faster, lower budgets, these kinds of things now with you at the helm? Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I think I was fortunate enough to step in. Uh, the process was already in place. Um, and again, Mr. Soto was in the same position, so he's had a, a really good a guiding hand in, in where we're moving with these projects. So I, I think I can't be, I just count myself fortunate every day when I come to work. I, it's exciting to see just the construction going on and just knowing that, that we have the kids in, our, in, in, the, in their mind when we start working on these things. And last question, anything you want to say to the kids or the parents out there? Uh, just, I can't wait for it to all be completed so you can see the hard work, the benefit, and the dedication really that the school district and our school board have to our kids to really offer the best educational you know, process that they can have uh, before they graduate and leave us. Hey, uh, actually I forgot about one question okay. that I've asked everybody else from the district. What is one life lesson you learned in your life that other folks at home could use in theirs? I think if you just, you, you work hard and you persevere, you're going to face obstacles no matter you know what you do in life, you're going to face obstacles and hard times. But if you just stay focused on your vision, stay focused on your goals, uh, you'll be able to accomplish them. It might take you a little bit of time, but just stick with it. You'll be able to accomplish them. Very good. Thank you, sir.